Our top focus at this hour, Lenitz Linton, the leader of the opposition in Dominica, has slammed the government of Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt for not being forthcoming on the issue of Mehul Choksi. Raising questions now over his presence in the country, he spoke to Vion's principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, exclusively. Listen in. Where did these facts come to you in a sense? Has the government briefed? Has the government, your government, in a sense, informed you about what has been transpiring? Because your government has only officially come out with one release confirming his presence and also interestingly saying that he is a citizen of India. So what do you have to say about two things? First, of course, your government briefing you about the development, the facts you have mentioned, and also uh, the fact that he has been mentioned as a citizen of India by your government. The government has not been forthcoming with any information information regarding this matter. The government has, has, has essentially kept its people in the dark and it has been left to the people to try through the sources of, in, internet, uh, of investigative journalism and so on to find out what they can. Mm -hmm. And we have been doing that. So it is, it is based on official documentation from the government system that has been leaked to certain individuals that we know we have a good idea of what transpired and what went down. So that while, the, 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 and, I, and I, let, me, let me say clearly, the only reason why the government would want to be keeping this under wraps and not wanting the people to know about it is because the government is embarrassed by the actions it took to facilitate this particular transaction. Uh, if, hypothetically, I'm saying that if the court said that he illegally came into the country and, of course, the, uh, the uh, courts say that he should uh, be repatriated uh, specifically to India, will you support the government stance, the, the, your government stance? We're not for a moment in the opposition saying that Mehul Chaksi should not face justice. The charges against him are serious. And those charges need to come before court. He needs to have his day in court. And the Indian authorities need to have the chance of prosecuting these matters in the court. Uh, However, uh, what we're saying, what we're saying is that in our part of the world, there's something called rule of law. And there's a way in which these matters are handled. For more on this, we are now being joined by our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, who of course has been closely tracking the story. Sidhan, you have spoken to an opposition figure in Dominica and he has criticized the government for not being forthcoming about information regarding Choksi. Tell us more. Well, uh, it, the entire issue has become a political hot potato in the Caribbean, not just in Dominica, but also in Antigua as well. But talking about the top opposition leader who has spoken to Vion, he clearly slamming his government for not giving the facts on what is happening on the ground. But it is now up to the D-Day, that is 2nd of June at 6.30 p.m. The entire proceeding will start. Today is the day that we'll see. The morning has just broken in Dominica. Today, the affidavits will be filed by the respondents and if by the petitioner as well, if they would like to file against uh, what the respondents had filed. And that is what is expected to happen. But other than that, it looks like that India will be building a strong case. We know that an, a plane, a private plane has landed in Dominica, which of course uh, came via Delhi, uh, and Madrid and reach the country and it has uh, uh, Indian officials with the legal documents. These legal document is to tell to the courts there that he is an Indian citizen who has run away from the law and of course has been involved in the mega PNB scam and it's high time that uh, he be sent to India and that is what India fo India's focus has been. Interestingly, both the government of Dominica and the government of Antigua, Prime Minister of Antigua, have been saying that he is a citizen of India. This, given the fact that uh, when it comes to his uh, citizenship for Antigua, that the Prime Minister has said that is not settled. This is still an unsettled issue. Right, Siddhant. Now, what is the current legal recourse that is available to Choksi in Dominica at the moment? Is there any clarity when he will be extradited to India? We know that an eight-member multi-agency team from India is in Dominica to bring him back. Well, as of now, two times that the court has taken the, the issue, but that was largely formality and uh, talked about how he should be given uh, the hospitalization if he requires. And he was indeed taken to the hospital as well. But tomorrow will be a kind of a D-Day when uh, the habeas corpus petition will be taken by the court and court will decide as to what will happen next. 
as of now the charges he faces is illegal entry into dominica and that in a sense decides the case because there were of course two other cases as well but those cases were in antigua one on his extradition to india another on the revocation of his citizenship but both both the cases will of course stand as of now given the fact that he's not physically present in the country so largely it's up to the courts in dominica to decide also another legal hassle that can come up is even if the court to order decides that he should be he's an illegal uh, alien inside the country that's the legal term that court is expected to use then the court can uh, of course uh, say that he can be extradited but what is expected to happen is the lawyers of uh, mehul choksi can go for an appeal as well right to them thank you so much for all your inputs and thank you for joining us on this broadcast we on world is one is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news updates on the move